You can begin by saying your name and saying where we are right now. Sure. So I'm Robin Pindoli. We are at the Park House Eatery in San Diego, California. And can you please say something that you're passionate about? Um, I'm passionate about finding new solutions to old problems. Um, I really think that we are at a time when we're kind of spinning our wheels and looking for solutions to global issues and that to create really meaningful change we have to think in a really different way we can't just keep thinking in the same way with the with the assumption that that thinking in the same way is going to result in new solutions we need to really question our core assumptions about how the world works and train that into ourselves and into our next generation of leaders if we want to have new solutions and meaningful solutions uh, so I, I co-founded an organization called Thinking Beyond Borders, and uh, I currently serve as the CEO of that organization. And we're doing exactly what I just said we're passionate about, which is, is really finding those students who want to make a difference in the world right as they're graduating from high school and offering them an intensive study abroad opportunity that really um, pushes them to take a hard look at themselves, at the world, and think really critically around what, what the biggest challenges the world is facing are and, and what real solutions might look like. Uh, and, and it's exciting. It's exciting to see students go through this, this evolution in terms of how they see themselves and how they see the world and then head off to college with a sense of purpose and a sense of meaning that really drives their studies and drives their pursuit of a, of a professional career. Um, and can you talk about an accomplishment that you're proud of? Huh, an accomplishment I'm proud of. Um, I'm, I'm really proud that we're about to launch our fifth year of our program. Uh, it's We launched our first program in September of 2008. Um, and literally watched the economy fall out from under us the way it did from everybody else. And when we built our organization, we're a nonprofit, but we built it on a business model. And that business model was based on the idea that there would be students who would be able to pay tuition to our program. And um, we've made lots of sacrifices professionally and personally uh, over the years, not just me, our, our whole team to keep the wheels on the road. And, and we've managed to do that through five hard years. And um, every year at our graduation, I'm, I'm absolutely overwhelmed with watching these incredible students head off into the world um, to, to have enormous impact. Um, so I'm proud that we've been able to, to keep the wheels on the road and continue to not only stay alive, but to do what we do better every single year. That's a big job. Yeah. Um, and can you talk about the character strength in yourself that you think is carrying through that experience? I guess I would just say that I'm, I'm optimistic. Um, and and it's, this is both a strength and a fault. I mean, there, the optimism has probably... There were probably at times there were times when we should have given up, <laughs> either on what we were doing at that moment or on the entire project altogether. Um, but I feel like I've, I've kind of always managed to look at the positives and what the what the potential is. Um, so it's it's both a positive and a fault at times. <laughs> Can get you into a lot of commitments that maybe weren't the best choices, but um, but there it is. That's real, that's real. And my final question actually is yes. if you have a piece of advice, maybe a quote or something that you've learned over the years that you'd want to share with others. Oh, well, I, um, my district is... I guess, I guess the most important thing I would say is that you... I think it's really important when you think about the impact you want to have on the world to be very critical in your thinking about it. Be really clear with yourself about how you want to impact the world and what that looks like, and then stay committed to that. And when I say committed, I don't necessarily mean you know make one decision and then you're stuck with that. It, it can constantly evolve. Your understanding of what you want to do, what your potential is, what your talents are, that, that can continue to evolve. But the idea that it's really important to keep that in mind every time you make decisions about what you want to do and why you want to do it and what your priorities are because all of the other social priorities 
you know, money and friendship and ego and power and all those things could, can very much impact your decisions every day. But if you stay really true to what you're really passionate about, the, the way you want to impact the world, I think you actually end up far more fulfilled. You, you end up waking up every morning excited to take on the challenges of the next day, excited to go out there and make the difference that you want to, that you want to see in the world. So, yeah.